Hi Libra, how are you guys? I'm so happy to be back here with you. I can't believe it's already June. Just don't let it send you guys much love and light. I'm very excited to take a look and see what you guys have coming in for your love life for June. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot and this is going to be your love reading. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Comment and share if you think that someone else would enjoy the reading as well. All right, Libra. So I'm just going to jump right in. But I just want to take a minute to call on spirit. What spirit shows us what is coming in for your love life in June. Rocky, rocky, rocky. Honestly, that's what I can see, you guys. Because it's like we're apart, we're together, we're apart, we're together. There's so much energy. So this couple is even showing up here. King and Queen of Pentacles. Someone in this connection is very, very, very forgiving all the time. I mean, and they're for, they're so forgiving to the point where they don't even really hold a grudge. They're like, all right, what whatever happened, happened between us. I'm not going to forget it, but I'm not going to let it affect our lives day to day. So this person is like sincerely giving it another chance over and over and over. But I also see where like what's ruling the connection is this person, your person who's very insecure and I don't say that to put them down because I know that you would not want me to with the way that you forgive them all the time for hurting you. But they are very insecure because I just see like things are things are over. It's done with. I'm done with you. I'm done forever. No, we're back together. We're back together. I forgive you. No, we're broken up again. So you you have to know that a lot of this stems from this person's insecurities, why things are so rocky and so volatile at times. I wonder if you're letting this person take your kindness for weakness because I can see throughout the month, it's so emotional and it's not something that's easy to go through. You know, this tower moment, it feels like at the time, it feels like it's over forever and there's no going back. But I know that that's not true. The thing about it is like you accept them back. Now, I want you to I want you to just think about it like this, because when the tower moment happens, it's because the divine is stepping in. Something is too much, something you need to be removed from it because you're in too deep and you can't get yourself out. But staying there is not good for you. So the tower comes in because that's the divine. Whoever you pray to, it's your guides most certainly pushing this person out of your life, pushing you away. So because it's something that needs to happen. The thing about it is like fighting the inevitable, like although it comes crashing down, you still may let them come back, even though you kind of have a feeling that you shouldn't, but you're so forgiving, which is a beautiful thing because you're very genuine and you're very open. Not everyone has, um, it's a virtue being so forgiving like that. Not everyone is able to. Oh, guy's over there crying. He's dreaming. So... Let me take a look at this tower card because I just see you guys kind of going through the ringer when it comes to this person. Guy! Guy, wake up! Wake up! Okay, so let me take a look at the ringer card. Let's take a look at the tower card. Okay. 
it's funny i know it may not seem so the tower coming through is like a catalyst for change change that's necessary because you know what i think it might make some of you have a have a realization about this connection and that you might not really get what you want out of it even though you keep letting them come back in so the tower card the, the moment i should say of you guys breaking up really feeling feeling like it's very permanent it's to level things out the thing about it is like what's done is done when when that moment comes in even if you keep going against what the divine is trying to do it's still faded it's still it, it won't change do you know what i mean even okay so the tower is like the cycle's closed it's done it's something that needs to happen in order for balance to be brought back into your life balance with your intellect and emotion i wonder if some of you guys are like even losing yourselves in this connection not even doing the things that you used to like to do this is something that's like really pulling you in. You could be in a lot deeper than you realize and not even realize how it's affecting other parts of your life. But I see where this is this is something that you really have no control over, although you might try to try to fix it because you are so forgiving. But something is happening underneath the surface that's much deeper. So when this happens, right, I just want you to be prepared for something that it's a lot of emotion that you're gonna have to go through. You might even really say some things that you end up regretting and vice versa, because it's to the point where you feel like it's over, it's done, I'm gonna say whatever I wanna say because I'm not thinking about tomorrow. There's not gonna be a tomorrow for me and you. You know, that's, that's what that energy is. Be mindful of what you say, because I see you getting back together with them. I, I see it happening. So it's like kind of taking the control back in your own hands, but it does something that eventually you're gonna see that this person, that you're giving them too many chances, honestly. I think you're gonna start to see that you've been too forgiving you've been too kind. And I wonder truly if some of these insecurities are yours. I don't say that to put you down in any way, Libra, but there is a reason why you keep, you won't release it, you know? There, someone here is, is, they have insecurities and maybe they don't even realize how this connection has brought about so many of them. I'm saying that because I know that this is not something that you should be a part of because that's when the divine steps in to take you out of it because it's it's not healthy for you. It's not good for you. So if you feel like this person is bringing out your insecurities and just not treating you the way that you deserve, like it's lopsided all the time and you feel like you have to beg for their attention, their affection, like they're always looking in another direction, it's not healthy for you and maybe you don't quite realize that but I can see that throughout the month you're going to be doing a lot of thinking and with the back and forth and the connection like we're over forever no let's get back together I think you're going to start to look at yourself and the choices that you've been making and I think that you're going to see that this is really not the direction that you're meant to go down because you want more than this person is giving you. I see where some of you are like, I want to get married. I want to be in a serious commitment. I want to know that my person is there for me. Um, we haven't even reached any major milestones. I know some of you want to move in with this person and you haven't. Just looking for a deeper commitment. Sorry about that, you guys. I think they're done so sorry about all the noise but i think you're gonna start to see yourself differently and don't don't get me wrong being forgiving is not a bad thing but you can't let yourself get taken advantage of either 
You can't. And especially if you feel like this person makes you feel very insecure because you can't figure out where you stand with them. That's not fair. You know, they should, they should um, give you what you want out of the connection as well, especially if you're just asking for something to be defined like okay this is what we are this is where things are going and if there's so many blurred lines like this i think that you're gonna start to see that this this person's not gonna give you what you want so I, ultimately i see you breaking off the connection and you know what this tower moment is is the catalyst to bring you to that point Okay, so that's very important for you to know. So I see you guys going through, like, really figuring things out this month. And, and you just have to be pre prepared to go through a lot of emotion. That's what I can see because there's so much back and forth. You know, that tower is not something to be taken lightly because it feels like it's permanent and it, it, it hurts. It really does. I can see this Virgo energy that's here. I think what's going to happen is that you guys aren't giving yourself enough time. So when things come to an end, you're, you're supposed to, I can see what you're supposed to do. And that's take the time to be by yourself, to take the time to just think put things into perspective, um, even look at yourself differently and see all the ways that this person has changed you being in the connection with them. But but you won't, you won't just yet because I see that you're not really ready after you guys break up. It's like, no, I'm, I'm not ready to go there. I'm not ready to like analyze and look at myself and do soul searching. I just want my person back. So I see you forgiving them taking them back and really opening up your heart to them again. But it's the same issues. It's like nothing is resolved. And that's why it results in realizing that it's it's not going to go where you want it to go. And I know it, it may be difficult to hear, but I also know at the same time when you see a moment like this, that it is for your own good in the long run. But I know some of you have already, I know you want things with this person, but at the same time, I know that these thoughts have already entered your mind about where you stand with them and where it can really go and how you feel like it's always lopsided. I think that Scorpio's energy is here as well, Libra. So you might be on the cusp um, or have that in your chart definitely somewhere. I have to tell you that this person takes advantage of you. They take advantage of your kindness. Their ego gets in the way a lot of, a lot of the time. because they kind of feel like they can keep behaving this way, keep coming in and out of your life without giving you what you want, you know? Letting them behave that way has sent the message that you accept it. So I, I do see this energy of kind of having dominance over you because they know how you feel about them. That's, that's not fair to you. That, that's not fair that they know what you want. They know how you feel. Yet they won't, they won't give it to you. Not until like they're ready. Everything has to be on this person's time. But that's not fair. But I can see that's the way that they are with you. Even if it's hard to accept hearing that. Because I know that... It can be, but I also know that you've seen the signs as well, wondering like, what's up with them? Why is it so hard to just say what we are? Why is it so hard to just make a commitment? I, you have to be very careful because they're going to try to pull you right back in. So it's like apart, together, apart, together. As soon, again, when... You walk away from them again, 
they're going to send you so much messages, attention, affection. I'm not saying to not trust them. What I'm saying is like, it's a good idea to make sure that if you stay on this cycle, you have to ensure that things are going to change. You have to make your demands known. If you want to put a title on this or if you want things to move forward, you shouldn't accept anything less because if you do, if you give in to the way that this person is like blowing up your phone, texting you, um, I'm sorry, it's going to be all that. So just be prepared. If you give in to it again and let things remain the same, it's going to always be like that. So I know that there's a lot of lessons that you guys have ahead of you this month. And really, it is, if you want to stay with this person, you have to teach them how to treat you. Put them to the test when you say no to something and then see how they behave. Because that's going to show you a lot about who they are. Maybe things that you haven't seen in them yet when you refuse. Because I know that it's very hard for you guys to refuse. I see the way that you always bend for them. You do. But it is important for you to know that... You either have to break this cycle and, and walk away or if you want to stay and give it another try again, it's really important that you speak up for yourself and have those uncomfortable conversations and make them uncomfortable. Talk about everything that you want to talk about and see how they handle it because I'm telling you, if you accept things as they are, you're just going to feel like you're not getting what you want. And part of it is because part of it is because you're accepting that and you're you're letting them treat you this way. Ultimately you are. I know that's not easy to hear, but I see that. You you guys are going to have to decide what you want to do with this person because I see where there's a lot that you're going through and it's for you to learn. You know, it's not just you're going through all of this in vain. It's because you it's to make you stronger. It's to make it make you look at yourself, teach teach people how to treat you and ex and even accepting if someone doesn't like you. That's the thing about it. Um cuz I see where you you bend a lot because you don't want them to walk away and you don't want them to think anything like bad about you. But there's a lot of lessons here that's meant to empower you. I, I see where you guys eventually might, even though they're gonna try really hard to pull you back in, put them to the test. Don't just let them pull you back in. You have to put them to the test because I think that's what's, that's what it's going to take to make you see whether or not you're going to get what you want out of the connection with this person. So just know that you have a lot of emotion that's coming in. Um, and there's a lot of messages here from spirit for you to think about. Mostly it's just for you to think about yourself and how you let people treat you, what you accept, and how you might be too forgiving when it comes to this person. Because I see where they feel like they can take advantage of you. I know that when this tower moment comes in, it's because something that it's like you need to be away from them for a while to think about things. But unfortunately, Libra, I don't see you letting that happen. I, I see you getting back together with this person probably like within a couple days because I see a really bad fight that's here. And then um, not wanting it to sting so badly. So you just come back together. But it's like more of the same. It's like more of the same. Ultimately, you're going to have to really put your foot down when it comes to this person and let that be the test for you to see if they're going to do what you want. And if they're not, you'll realize that it's going to be hard for you to get what you want from this person. And you deserve what you want. You know, what you want, you should have that in your life with someone. You know, so I just see, I see you guys going through a lot this month, a lot of emotion, and but really coming to a decision. It's going to be confusing, though, because I see the way that this person 
reaches out, but you guys got to try and be strong and really put them to the test so you can see if they're going to give you what you want from this. Because there's a realization here that some of you will have that you might be better off on your own for a bit, taking time away from this connection. All right, Libra. So just know that everything's going to be okay. You're going to decide what you want to do when it comes to this person and you're going to be all right. I see you going through a lot of emotion. Okay, so just know that I love you guys. I'm here for you if you need anything. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up, comment, and share. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you in about a week.